So I, I want to just cut right to it. Okay. Um, and for you, it's so, like, you come from a place where it's calm. It's something that's talk aboutable. Uh, and what I mean by that, the flip side, is that many couples that I know, and maybe moments in my own personal life, I didn't feel comfortable talking about sex. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe many people are really battling with that. And then, of course, you have the physical side of things that may not make sex an enjoyable thing. So there's so much to talk about. And in my space, what I've seen is I will have people who are my clients for weight loss mm -hmm. or nutrition. And after a while, they start to lose weight. They start to feel better. They're in a healthier place mentally. And then out of nowhere, they share with me. And it's usually guys. But the guys will go, man, even my sex life is better. Mm -hmm. so, that makes sense. So just because they change the way they eat, mm -hmm. they feel better about themselves, and things are better. And someone that was really close to me, a relative, I'm not going to say uncle or cousin because then my family will try to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get in trouble I for that I will get in one. trouble. <laughs> but I was with someone in my family who was driving. It was a male. And he wanted to lose weight. He wanted to improve parts of his life. And we talked about it, and we talked about weights and lifting and eating and cardio and all the things that most people would talk about. And then I said, you know, I've had clients, their sex life got way better mm -hmm. when they lost weight and started eating differently. And this person who I'm close to went and lost 50 pounds. Mm. So the thing that motivated him to lose the weight, because nothing else was motivating him, was he wanted to improve his intimacy with his partner. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is, um, when you are attracted to yourself, this is a big thing. Ooh, this is good. And this is where I like to work with women, too. Because if you are attracted to yourself and you feel sexy, you're going to radiate that. And the other person that's mm. with you is going to feel that. So if he lost 50 pounds, he must be feeling better about himself. You know, he... He must be feeling lighter. He must look in the mirror and just be like, yeah, I feel better. So that's the internal part of it, okay? Um, and that's a great success story. I mean, to lose 50 pounds is a lot. Um, and for women, let me tell you, it's a huge game changer. When they lose weight and they feel better about their body, huge game changer. But for men, too. Men feel that way also. So it's the, the mental part where you're loving yourself, liking yourself, you feel sexy, then it's your blood flow because if you're exercising and you're getting the blood flowing, remember your blood flows to your genitals, okay? And your genitals have erectile tissue around them. And to maintain or get an erection, you have to have proper blood flow. If that blood flow is, is not just flowing freely, then it's going to be hard to get the erection and maintain it. And there's also anxiety. So maybe the person was like not feeling great about how they looked. So then they're anxious about their performance or they're anxious um, if they're going to be able to get an erection. So all that plays into it. And lastly, um, when you don't have the excess weight on your stomach or the pubic area, your genitals look a little bigger. So what man doesn't want to have his penis look a little bigger, right? right? I mean, that's a big ego booster right there. So all of those things make a huge difference. And this will get men up off the couch to go and lose weight because exactly what I said they will feel if they lose weight. Okay. And I, and I get you because I, as we've talked, you know, I have many clients that experience um, insulin resistance mm -hmm. that plays a huge role in preventing that blood flow. Mm -hmm. And I understand nitric, nitric oxide and the role that that plays in making it possible for someone to have an erection, mm -hmm. um, maintain an erection. Um, and, that's, and, and I know that the body will do that naturally, but as we mature in life, um, we don't produce as much nitric oxide. And so as that goes down, there is another pathway where, depending on how you eat, Mm. It can actually contribute toward making it where you can create more nitric oxide based on the foods that you're eating and putting yourself in a position where you have a good gut microbiome. That plays a huge role because it's the um, bacteria that is in your mouth 
mm-hmm. as well as the foods that you're eating, that when it hits those gastric juices in your gut, creates more nitric oxide, which is going to help everything work better. And do you know how important what you what you just said? Because they don't have really any medication for that, or they may, but they have the medication for, okay, they say it will give you an erection and it will make you maintain an erection, but that's false advertising. That's mm-hmm. propaganda. Because unless you can get that blood flow into the penis, then it's not going to constrict the areas needed to keep it in there. Right. So what you're saying, eating right and um, I don't know if taking a, a supplement, but that's that's a huge deal. Because well, eating right, I mean, there's certain foods. Like if you're eating beets, right? Mm-hmm. Well, beets have uh, nitrate in them naturally and there's that nitrate that then eventually gets converted to nitric oxide but you do need to have a healthy gut bacteria oh my god you know how many men are going to go out there and buy beets now okay